Hello, in today's class, we are going to discuss the electrical conductivity in a metal. Then we will discuss the ratio of thermal conductivity to electrical conductivity. Now, let us see in an electric field E and a magnetic field B, the force on an electron charge or uh, the force on an electron of charge minus E is given by this relation F is equal to minus E times the electric field E plus uh, V cross B where V is the velocity of the electron in the metal. Okay, so this is the force. Okay. Now we, we will see uh, the magnetic field case later. So we are now discussing when the field magnetic field is zero what is the force so then the force become minus e times e okay now we know the force what is force p is equal to sorry f is equal to the rate of change of momentum dp by dt but we know p is equal to we can write uh, quantum mechanically this is equal to h cross k where k is the wave vector of the electron therefore uh, applying in this equation we can write m dv by dt is equal to uh, h cross dk by dt is equal to minus e so this is the uh, force on an electron of charge minus e when it is applied by a electric field e from this equation this uh, dk is equal to minus e e divided by h cross d okay so when we integrate uh, from a time t equal to 0 to t equal to t okay so when the electric field is applied at a time t equal to 0 after a time t the wave vector is changed by e e by h cross uh, t it will be okay so this is the uh, change in wave vector that means in time t the wave vector of each electron is shifted by a quantity minus e e h cross e e by h cross into t okay that means the fermi sphere which angloses the electron orbitals occupied electron orbitals in k space okay so if there is a sphere and so this is the fermi sphere uh, the electrons are the electron orbitals are represented by points in the k space okay so different value of k represent different uh, energy levels or orbitals center of this uh, fermi sphere is at the origin of the uh, k space okay so that means net momentum is zero if there is a point uh, uh, in k space and here there is a corresponding point in the opposite side of the k space is zero so therefore the net momentum of the electrons at t equal to zero is zero the total uh, electron gas the net momentum of the system is zero because the origin of the origin of the k space and center of the fermi sphere coincides now when we apply an electric field and after a time t so this is shifted by this is shifted by what okay so this is shifted to this so the fermi sphere uh, the center of the fermi sphere does not coincide with the the origin of the k space okay that means there is a change in k for each electron so the entire fermi sphere is shifted okay so here now net momentum is not zero so because of electric field this fermi sphere shifted and these uh, electrons will have collision with uh, the phonons impurities and other imperfections in the crystal therefore their uh, velocity i mean uh, the wave vector decreases because of these collisions the fermi sphere may be maintained in a uh, steady state okay so if the collision time is tau 
from this equation the increment velocity v is equal to minus e e by m into tau okay so here t equal to tau is the collision time okay now if in the conductor there are n number of uh, free electrons okay, n number of free electrons per unit volume therefore the current density in the conductor or in the metal j is equal to n q v this is this is the definition of the current density we know n is the number per unit number of uh, charges per unit time q is the charge and v is the velocity of the charge okay. what is q q equal to minus e and v equal to minus e e by m therefore you can write minus e minus e e tau by m therefore this is equal to n e square tau by m into e okay therefore the current density j is equal to uh, this can be taken as a constant sigma into e okay where sigma is called the electrical conductivity and is given by so electrical conductivity is given by n e square tau divided by m okay, here tau is the relaxation time or the uh, collision time average collision time which is called the relaxation time and uh, the reciprocal of this is called the electrical resistivity or rho is equal to is equal to m divided by n e square tau okay so this expression j equal to sigma e is called the is the ohm's law okay so this uh, so the potential in terms of potential you can write this is equal to v is equal to i r so both are same so if you where j is equal to i by e okay we will get this thing now this resistivity is due to the collision of this electron free electrons with the phonons as well as uh, the impurities that is imperfection etc okay so the resistivity is uh, in many metals is dominated by um, the phonon collision at a room temperature room temperature this resistivity uh, resistivity is due to the phonon collision okay electron phonon collision but in very low temperature like in a liquid helium temperature that is at 4 kelvin this is dominated by the collision of electrons with the impurities or lattice imperfection okay so two things are there at room temperature the resistivity is, is uh, dominated by collision by collision of electrons electrons with the phonons okay light is vibrations and uh, at uh, low temperature low temperature means liquid helium temperature that is at uh, four, around 4 kelvin okay so liquid helium temperature is 4 kelvin so at low temperature the rho is dominated by collision with the collision of electrons electrons with the impurities impurities or that is imperfection okay so we can divide this uh, resistivity contribution into two one contribution is due to the electron collision with the phonons and the other colli uh, collision with the scattering of electrons with uh, the uh, impurities uh, boundaries and uh, the lattice imperfections okay rate of these collisions are independent of one another okay that means rate of collision with the phonons is independent of rate of uh, collision of electrons with the impurities they are independent okay but the total rate is total rate total rate of collision is equal to rate of collision rate of phonon collision 
collision plus rate of collision with the with the impurities. Okay, so rate means what frequency? So the frequency that is one by tau is equal to one by tau uh, L lattice plus one by tau I impurity. But we know that uh, the resistivity rho is equal to yeah, mass of electron n e square tau m divided by n e square tau. So the resistivity is inversely proportional to tau. Okay. So this uh, for a for a metal for a metal specimen rho is inversely proportional to one by a tau. So therefore, we can write this rho is equal to rho L plus rho I. Okay. This uh, collision with the lattice or the collision with the phonon is a uh, function of temperature. Therefore, we can write rho is equal to rho of T plus rho I. Okay. This, this is rho of T because the collision of electron with the phonon depends on the temperature so this is called this is called a Matheson's rule okay. so Matheson's rule says that the total uh, resistivity is due to two contribution one is the temperature dependent and the other one is the constant resistivity okay so when the temperature is zero, there will be some resistivity. So that is due to the impurities. Okay. Okay. Now we know the electrical conductivity, sigma. This is equal to sigma is equal to n e square tau divided by m. Now we know the thermal conductivity uh, kappa is equal to 1 by 3 C V L. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, thermal conductivity. This is the thermal conductivity of particles of velocity V and mean free path L. And C is the heat capacity per unit volume. Okay. But we have derived the value of C quantum mechanically. That is uh, C is equal to Phi square by 2 n kb t by tf or we can write this thing as pi square by 2 n kb square t by ef hmm? kb into tf that is uh, ef both are right okay uh, so this is the heat capacity, total heat capacity. Now heat capacity per unit volume C is equal to as given by, so this is the C electronic contribution. So the C electronic contribution uh, per unit volume is pi square by 2 N by capital V KB square T by EF is half m v f square okay so therefore this can be written as pi square by 2 small n is the number per unit volume number of free electrons per unit volume n k b square t by uh, m v f square into oh, so 1 by 2 1 by 2 is there so therefore uh, the thermal conductivity 1 by 3 c is equal to pi square so this 1 by 2 and uh, this 1 by 2 get cancelled pi square n k b square t by m vf square into 
So this is uh, 1 by 3 C into V F into L. This is equal to uh, here L is the mean free path which is equal to V F into tau. Okay. So therefore uh, 1 by 3 pi square n k b square t so this v f square v f into v f tau is v f v f get cancelled so this is equal to p uh, tau divided by m okay pi square n k b square t into tau by m okay therefore the ratio of ratio of the thermal conductivity to electrical conductivity kappa by sigma is given by 1 by 3 pi square n k square tau by tau t divided by m into 1 by sigma is equal to m divided by n e square tau. So therefore, this can be written as tau tau get cancelled, n n get cancelled, m m get get cancelled. So therefore, this is equal to pi square by 3, pi square by 3, k square t by e square. Or we can write pi square by uh, 3 into k by e whole square into t. This is the equation for the ratio of the thermal conductivity to the electrical conductivity. Okay. So this value is constant for all metals because pi square by 3 is a constant, k is a universal constant, e also universal constant. So therefore, we can write this thing as L into t. Okay. So k by sigma is, is proportional to t, the temperature and this proportionality constant L is called the Lorentz number. And this is called weidmann franz law. Okay, so weidmann franz law talk about the ratio of the thermal conductivity to the electrical conductivity which is proportion to temperature okay so the proportionality constant is quantum mechanically it is pi square by 3 k by e whole square okay if we substitute all these values we get the value of l value of l is found to be k is uh, what is k k is 1.38 into 10 raised to minus 23 joule per kelvin per mole hmm? okay then uh, then uh, e is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. We will get uh, L. L is equal to L is found to be 2.45 into 10 raised to minus 8 watt ohm per Kelvin square. Okay, or per degree square. So this is called the Lorentz number. So Lorentz number value. Pi square by 3, k by e whole square.